If you're thinking about using lightweight concrete as a sound barrier between floors, um, let's uh, see if I can provide you with a little more information before you do it. I'm not a big fan of it and probably never will be because uh, I've uh, been in too many situations where it's been used and you can still hear a lot of sound coming through. With that said, uh, there's no way I'm going to suggest that it doesn't work. However, it might not work as well as you think it will. So let's go ahead and uh, see what lightweight concrete does to the framing and what's required to install it. Now here you can see this is a lower floor. There's nobody going to be underneath it. No uh, habitable area underneath its crawl space. And there is one framing plate. This is a com this is common um, construction. If you are using lightweight concrete, uh, most of the time you need to put uh, two framing plates down. The top of the bottom plate will be the top of the lightweight flooring. So this is made, they've made it a easy way to, um, to basically use this. This is a really uh, great idea. If you just put the framing plate down and then poured the concrete to the top and you use regular studs, then you're going to have problems with your drywall and hopefully that makes sense. Let's just go around the building here. Again, two plates. Now, here's another area. Now you're going to pour the, the uh, lightweight concrete in each individual room. And you're probably thinking, why don't they just pour the concrete on the floor first and then frame on top of it? I don't know. Maybe this provides you the uh, concrete installer with a way to screed the floors easier. But it uh, seems like it's a little difficult for anybody who's ever screeded concrete in small areas with a bunch of obstacles in your way. It is not easy. Here's something that uh, we normally do. Um, that would be to cut the plates out for the doorways and leave the screeding plate. This was real common. Um, however, you could cut the entire plate out, but I would leave that up to the installer. I wouldn't cut this bottom plate out until the installer of the um, product uh, actually said to do so. Here's what it would look like after the lightweight concrete is installed in a doorway without the sill. And uh, here's a view. I did the put the concrete on one side to give you an idea. The uh, main purpose of the video is to give you an idea of how it's installed. So I figured if I left an area over here, you'd be able to kind of compare the two. And uh, here's what the concrete would look like. It basically pour it room per room and uh, screed it in, in each room. And again, it's not easy to do it with uh, these uh, wall studs in the way, trust me. I've never done it. I've just watched them do it. So I can, uh, I can uh, take uh, some, of the, uh, some of the knowledge out of that. And trust me, I don't need to do everything, just like you don't need to do everything to get a pretty good idea whether or not it's going to be difficult. So this is what it would look like. Here are the two framing plates. You can see there's no lightweight concrete in this area. There is over here. Two framing plates here, one framing plate over here. To give you an idea. Now, the if you do it without the um, sill plate, you're going to have the concrete go all the way through. And I just drew this line in here, but you wouldn't. That doesn't mean you necessarily have it. If you do it with the sill plates where you don't remove it, you're going to have something like this. And this is the most common way uh, you're going to run into with the um, lightweight concrete. Now, there are some problems I would like to address with this. Uh, I've removed this in the past. It does add a lot of weight to the floor. And I'm sure the engineers allow for the weight of the concrete. Um, just, just to give you an idea, I looked up on the internet. Um, regular concrete weighs about 145 pounds per square foot, I believe. And um, lightweight concrete is 115 pounds per square foot. And I'm not, don't quote me on that. I just got that off the internet somewhere. Um, you can see that there is a difference, but it's not too big of a difference. The lightweight concrete is made with a different aggregate. They're not going to use rock. 
Um, I believe they do use sand and cement and uh, some type of materials that have been heated up. I want to say they used to use perlite or vermiculite. And I forget which one it is. It's uh, They take rocks and they heat it up and they puff them up. These rocks expand and they become a lightweight aggregate for materials like these. But still... 115 pounds, if that's it per square foot, that's a lot of weight. And when we used to remove the concrete, the floors used to sag. And they were, um, and rarely did we ever remove lightweight concrete. And the floor wasn't sagging from the weight. That was, wasn't, uh, was very common. So just to give you an idea, they would, we'd remove the flooring. Um, it would be sagging, and then we would uh, do all the remodeling, and then they would come in and redo the floors with lightweight concrete. And if you uh, figured it out, if it's sagging and they're going to make it uh, flat, that's going to add additional weight to the floor. So if you have a um, an inch and a half sag, or let's just say a one inch sag in the middle of a 12 foot room, then you're going to have an inch and a half thick concrete at the ends and uh, over two inches, two and a half inches of concrete in the center. This is going to add even more weight. And this wasn't uncommon, trust me. I would do a lot of work and run into stuff like that. As far as the sound barrier, that's basically what most architects use it for. I worked on a building once where they wanted to... Um, we removed the concrete and installed new concrete. The floors were sagging and they were actually, there was going to be a gym, gymnasium upstairs. It was for an apartment uh, leasing office I, I, I uh, worked on. The leasing office was below the gym and it was horrible. It was noisy. You could hear all the people lifting the weights and running on the treadmills all day long. It just really didn't solve the problem. And in reality, it probably wasn't a good uh, idea to do something like that. Um, you know, maybe the leasing office upstairs and the gymnasium downstairs would have been better. So anyway, that's it for the lightweight uh, concrete. I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, if you're looking for a little bit of sound um, reduction, something like that, then this might be something uh, that you would use. And who knows, in the future, they might come up with better products also. You know, we always keep improving our building products. So, okay, that's it. And I realize I went probably a little longer than I should have on this video. So off to the next one.